Now the former US president, Mr. Donald Trump, has been found guilty on 34 counts in that hush money case to Stormy Daniels. Uh, anyway, uh, in my previous videos, I have talked in detail about uh, how the use of law against Donald Trump by the Joe Biden government uh, is being done and uh, even uh, this uh, verdict of the jury does not uh, actually change my belief and uh, not even most of the Americans uh, most of the Americans I am an observer of American politics from distance from India but even most of the Americans will not change their mood to whom to support in the upcoming election and rather I think those who wanted to actually vote for Donald Trump will be voting with uh, for Donald Trump and will be working to make other people vote for him even with more vigor and uh, but it is important because this is the uh, first US president who has been charged in this type of case and uh, he has been charged by a state court not by a federal court so even if he becomes the u.s president he cannot pardon himself because the u.s presidents have power to pardon the cases of a federal court but not the state court so this has taken place in new york state in the, by the new york state court uh, though i think uh, he will be he, may, he will be having and I am no expert in the US legal system but I think he, he will uh, go to Supreme Court uh, for this case and uh, he may go uh, in the manner that he can uh, his lawyers or legal team can talk about habeas corpus that he has been held illegally by a state court i think he has got all those things in his hand uh, but uh, still this is a big thing from uh, for him and he will be uh, diverted from campaigning in his election that's the political side of things and uh, on july the 11th the final verdict will come out that is the sentencing will be there uh, and uh, this uh, actually crime what i have read so far uh, may carry a sentence from 16 months to 4 years and multiply it by 34 counts but in such cases usually all counts will be considered one no, that is uh, uh, if uh, the culprit is uh, passing his time in prison so that will be considered uh, the, all together so he can go for a significant time in jail uh, but uh, I don't think that this will happen during the election and even if it happens uh, during the election uh, he can uh, by US Constitution he can participate in an election even from a prisoner uh, and uh, he can run the White House as a president even from a prisoner though I don't think that in this case uh, if he is elected and if the deep state of United States of America allows him to be elected as the US president he will be in jail because uh, then I think they will bring many things that uh, uh, state courts cannot divert the attention working attention of a president uh, or a, uh, stop him from working uh, as, the, as the US president many things may come bad time uh, but uh, he has no friends in this court because I don't think and I don't consider the US system very good because it's based on appointments by Democrats and by uh, Republicans so he has appoint appointees in the federal court but not in the New York state court so he has no friends in that court and this is not a very good thing actually for uh, any justice justice system because if the political parties are actually appointing judges then the whole thing goes political uh, and uh, law should not be politicalized but it is being politicalized and everything is being politicalized in the united states of america and uh, even after uh, this the, even after being found guilty on all 34 counts on all uh, or on 34 counts uh, by the jury 
Donald Trump remains favorite to win the US presidential election according to the betting markets. I am not supporter of a betting market but this is what the trends are showing and I am still thinking that uh, United States of America is a very divided society right now and those who were wanting to vote for Donald Trump will vote for him and even will bring more votes for him with even more vigor. Thank you.